today I'm reviewing the Inky List Retinol Serum. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. So if you want to help keep the channel independent, check out my products at the Amazon link below. So uh, the Inky List is a newer product line that I've found, actually thanks to a YouTuber. Uh, Carrie, she mentioned it to me a while ago, and I saw their lineup and checked out their prices and picked up most of it, most of their entire line. So uh, anyway, the first product from their line I'm going to review is their Retinol Serum, uh, which is more of a retinol cream. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to let you guys know my thoughts on it based on my Sarah score scale. So my first criteria is packaging, and they've done a nice job packaging this uh, simply in a squeeze tube bottle, which I love. Um, very simple packaging. Everything's black and white, pretty simple, similar bottles, no uh, gimmicks or any fancy packaging, things like that. So uh, it does a nice job protecting the retinol from exposure to light and air. My second criteria is alcohol, and this does not contain any denatured alcohols. My third criteria is fragrance, and uh, this doesn't contain any fragrance either. If you've used a few retinols, it has a little bit of a, a little bit of a, just a retinol vitamin A scent to it, but uh, it dissipates immediately. So every retinol kind of has a little bit of a scent. I don't know how else to describe it, but um, anyway, my fourth criteria is the manufacturing location, and this is made in Canada, so no issues with that. Anybody starting to think of the ordinary a little bit? I don't know. They've been. Uh, called quite similar to them and a lot of their products have been called dupes to some of the ordinary stuff so although this one for me didn't ring any bells to the ordinary so I don't know if you disagree leave a comment um, my fifth criteria is ease of use and I recommend using this in the evening it has a uh, creamy texture to it so I'd use it after a serum but before a moisturizer if you use a thicker moisturizer and definitely uh, if you're new to retinol start out slow uh, maybe begin using it once every three days and then uh, as your skin gets used to it every other day and then every day or you can also mix it with another moisturizer or a serum to start out with to kind of dilute it because it is a stronger retinol uh, version so percentage of retinol is a little bit higher um, so definitely very easy to use it uh, smooths on the skin absorbs nicely and uh, in the morning uh, rinse off but definitely use a moisturizer after this give it a minute to soak in and then use a moisturizer with it that will help kind of prevent some of the issues people have when they start retinol which is sometimes they get peeling flaking redness dryness so if you're using a serum before it that hydrates and a moisturizer afterwards you can help reduce the likelihood of that happening and also always start out slow uh, and always use in the evening and in the daytime use a sunscreen so very easy to use, layers well, plays well with other products. Um, so yeah, very easy. My sixth criteria is antioxidants and they've done a nice job of including a lot of other antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. They've included squalene, uh, soybean extract, vitamin C, vitamin E. Uh, there's some peptides in there, hyaluronic acid. And then uh, the star is obviously retinol and they've included retinol in two different forms. Uh, retinol in 1% and then a 0.5% of the hydropinacolone retinate, which is a popular retinol lately these days. Uh, the Ordinary uses in some of their retinol products. Uh, Sunday Riley uses it in their Luna, um, Luna oil. So uh, it's kind of a becoming popular, but there's not a, nearly as much research proving that as effective as retinol in and of itself so I'm not totally sold on it that's why I like they included two different forms uh, so you can be certain that if that hydropinacolone retinate isn't to be shown as effective they've got the 1% retinol in there anyway so you're still getting a proven benefit of retinol vitamin A and it's got a bad rap over the years but I think people are starting to come around with it now after they use it themselves so and throwing some good antioxidants in there to back it up always helps. And using a moisturizer helps prevent some of those side effects of retinol use. So uh, they did a very good job. Uh, I love the fact that they included two different forms. I've also got another product I'll be reviewing soon that has three different types of retinol in it. So very fun. So um, anyway, lots of good antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. And it's still a relatively short ingredient list, So which is still nice. So... My seventh criteria is animal testing, and uh, the Inky List states that they are uh, completely cruelty-free, 
So always a good thing. My eighth criteria is performance, and this performed great. Uh, helps with fine lines and wrinkles, helps brighten the skin, and if you're prone to acne or breakouts, this can kind of help slow that uh, pattern down as well. Um, I, I would actually say, to me, this is probably the closest uh, second favorite to the Paula's Choice Retinol Serum. It's pretty similar to it, actually, in a lot of beneficial ingredients, although the Paula's Choice goes a step further in terms of adding beneficial ingredients and antioxidants. This one has a little bit shorter list, um, but also, as you'll see, a shorter price tag. Um, so this is a pretty good retinol if you're looking to start one, but always start slow because I, I read reviews, and actually the reviews of this one are stellar, but overall reviews of retinols are, I just had itchiness and flakiness and red skin with it, and it's like you probably start out too fast. Just start out slow, and if you don't use a good serum or moisturizer with it, you're probably going to like more have a higher likelihood of having issues. And uh, if if you're going to start using this on your third night, your skin still doesn't feel uh, like it's ready for it, don't just start out as slow as you can. Maybe even like start out once every four days, or you know, or start out once every four days and mix it with something. So. Uh, because retinol can be really effective if you use it correctly. So, and I think you'll be very happy if you're using it correctly after a while of using it and you notice the good results that are happening from it. So, um, anyway, on to my ninth criteria, which is the price. And this is the full size, which is one ounce. And it sells for $13. So it's a pretty good deal. Um, one of the most effective yet most affordable forms of retinol I've seen. So... Uh, ridiculously affordable and uh, vitamin A is not cheap to add into products so uh, it's impressive that they were able to do this and still make a little bit of money I assume for $13 so must come from the affordable packaging and not spending a ton of money on marketing and packaging people so and then my 10th criteria is the it factor and uh, I love it 1% retinol uh, half of a percent of the hydro hydroxypinocholine retinate. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Uh, I love that they didn't totally rely on the newer form of retinol and still uh, threw in the proven form of retinol. Um, nice packaging, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, good packaging, and it's affordable. I love it, so I'm sold. I gave this a 10 out of 10, so that doesn't happen very often, but uh, this one was uh, pretty impressive for me, so I was pretty happy with it so I'm very glad uh, my YouTube fellow YouTuber friend uh, pointed this brand out to me because I'll be reviewing more of it but this retinol uh, if you're looking for a good retinol it's a good one and affordable so anyway I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to try this or if you've tried anything else from the inky list what have you tried and how have you liked it so uh, leave a comment I love hearing from you guys check out uh, nobsbeauty.com the Amazon link below and if you want to help the channel give this video a thumbs up Thank you so much, guys.